Welcome along, folks, to the Michael Nero Show. Hope you're doing well whenever you are listening to this. Hope you're having a good day today. Folks, I have an interesting idea for this episode. Well, I think it's interesting anyway. It's an idea. I have an idea for this episode. It's just an idea for this episode anyway. Uh, the idea is that it's going to take a week to record. Now, my idea is for this one-off episode, I'm going to record a bit on Monday, Tuesday, so on, until Friday. Edit all the bits I have together, see what I've got, and put it up as a podcast. So there we go. So I'm recording this on Monday. Let's see what time it is now. It is uh, 7.23 at time of recording. And thinking about how yesterday... I did some watercolor painting. I was talking about painting, of course. It was the main theme of the last episode. And yesterday, I did a painting. And I was kind of... I said, you know what? I wanted to do more kind of fantasy painting. And that's kind of what I did. Kind of... Sort of not really. Um, I basically just had a nice little scene. Where I had some very, very green trees. And just a lot of greenery and stuff like that. And a big waterfall behind them. And then two characters running along with cloaks and stuff like that. Just in silhouettes. I thought it looked nice. And uh, yeah. Maybe I'll put a... It's on the website anyway. MichaelMeter.com. If you want to go over there and see that. So yeah. That's what I did yesterday. What else did I do yesterday? I was messing around with some music as well too. I made a little track. And I was like, that's pretty good. I think it's okay. Um, I don't know if I'm going to share half of this stuff actually I'm, I'm working on it. I think it's just it's just kind of fun I don't know I'm, maybe I'll post some bits and pieces but I'm not too sure about it now I got a bit shy about it because <laughs> I was talking I was like oh you've talked about it too much now and you've you know but um, no I'll put up some bits and pieces when I have them but um, yeah it's, it's just fun every now and again to noodle around and make little sounds and stuff like that that's basically it and uh, yeah that's what I did yesterday was I watching a film or anything yesterday? I don't think I was watching a film yesterday. I was going to watch Babe. The film Babe came into my head. And I think I'm going to watch Babe this evening. Haven't seen Babe in a long, long time. I remember I went to see it in the cinema when it came out. And loved it. That it was brilliant. Wasn't too sure to make a Babe pig in the city though. That I wasn't sure about. Although I have gone back and watched that since. And I love it now since. I was like, At first I was like, oh, sure, because it's, it's very different to the first one. So at first you're like, oh, it's a bit jarring. But then you watch it again and the second time you're like, actually, you know what, you know what? I like it more this time. I like it more this time. So anyway, that is what I have been doing today. Or I've been thinking about today. Thinking about the paintings that I did yesterday. Or, yeah, and I was missing out. I, don't know, I was noodling around a bit with the painting. And um, I, I, I made one that I was like, that's good. Do you want to make some little starts? And I was like, yeah, I might come back to that again. You know, and stuff like that. But basically, I did one anyway. So, I was happy with the one anyway. And, uh, yeah. I think I think this evening, what I'm going to do after I finish this very record, this part of the podcast, I'm going to go away and I'm going to watch Babe. That's what I'm going to do. I think tomorrow, I might give you a little review about what I thought of Babe. So, yeah. I mean, it'll be tomorrow for me. It'll be just mere seconds for you. So, anyway. Here we go. Talk to you again tomorrow. Hey, folks. Back again with the Tuesday section of the show. Yeah, so it is nearly 10 o'clock now at the time of recording. 10 o'clock in the afternoon. So now, a few seconds ago, it was Monday. uh, I was talking about how I was going to watch the film Babe. I was going to come back today with a review. Here's an update on that. I didn't see it. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I was sure it was up on a streaming site, but it didn't seem to be there. So I was like, well, I don't know. Uh, I think I'm going to rent it. Maybe this evening, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So I haven't seen it. Maybe, if I don't see this either, I'm going to watch it over the weekend, I think, definitely. Anyway. But, yeah. So I don't have a review of the film, babe. Sorry. But, I do have some film chat I want to talk about this evening. So, folks, or, I say this evening. It might be morning when you're listening to this. Anyway. Whenever you're listening to this, I have some chat. Kelly Murphy got the nomination for Best Actor today. Uh, very well deserved, I thought. I thought he was, I've said it already on this podcast, and I said it up on the website as well, too, that I thought it was a, an amazing portrayal. I thought it was an amazing performance he gave. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. Just absolutely brilliant. 
So just well deserved, well deserved Oscar nomination at the very least. Anyway, uh, well deserved nomination here. Uh, just seemed like a foregone conclusion, really. I suppose that he was going to get that uh, nomination because it was such a great performance. Everyone was talking about it. Uh, the other bit of news as well too with the Oscars is the uh, lack of a nomination for Greta Gerwig for Best Director. Not to take away from anything of the folks that were nominated. A lot of great, great films came out this year, but. I thought uh, Greta Gerwig should have got the nomination. Seems like a lot of people agree with me that uh, should definitely got the nomination. If you know, if not to win the nomination at the very least, anyway, because it's such a big film, you know. I mean, two of the biggest films of the year were, I mean, culturally and financially as well. Of course, were Oppenheimer and uh, Barbie. I mean, you couldn't. You know, look for without people talking about Barbie somewhere in some shape or form, either loving it or hating it. Everyone, it was everyone was talking about it the whole summer. You know, so definitely was. It's a strange, but of course, Barbie has got a lot of nominations for a lot of different things uh, for the film, of course, right? So, but uh, odd one and odd one. I think it would have been cool for her to get the nomination for that. But um, I mean, she's up for her Oscars as well for that film as well too. So you know. I don't know, this would have been cool, but anyway, there we go. Uh, let me know your thoughts on that. Now, the other thing I want to talk about today is West Limerick 102 FM. Now, West Limerick 102 FM is the community radio station where I used to do the Michael Muto show every Tuesday morning from 9 a.m. And I hear then that they're in a financial bind seems they have some debt that needs to be cleared and they've even set up a GoFundMe. And I'm just putting the word out here that if any folks out there listening to this are able to, can afford to, I mean, you know, there is a financial crisis going on, but if you're able to, in a position financially to donate any amount, if you could go to their uh, GoFundMe page, there's a link in the description of this podcast. You can go there, donate whatever you can, and if you can't donate anything, again, as I say, the financial crisis going on, so times are tough and things are tight. So if you can't, I would love it if you could just copy the link and share it into your own social medias. Do me a huge, huge favor, okay? And Western Mercury 2 FM, which was such a great place and gave me, a, a, as I say, a creative home there for a while. And uh, they're just wonderful folks over there who do wonderful work. And I am so, so, so proud to say that I worked there. And um, just such a wonderful, wonderful place, a wonderful community. And um, it just makes sense as they are a community radio station. But if you can at all, I would really appreciate if you could either donate or just secretly, if you can share the link as well too on your own social media uh, to folks who maybe can donate. So either or is perfectly good. Okay. No pressure at all now. Either way. But anyway. Just had to throw that in there. And. I um, wanted to discuss that for a little bit. Now. There we go. I think I'm going to stop there. And I will talk to you again. Tomorrow. Tomorrow being Wednesday. What will I talk about tomorrow? What will I say I'm going to talk about tomorrow? Uh, maybe I will. Watch a YouTube video. There's no maybe about it. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Right after this. Don't know what I'm going to watch. Watch some stuff on YouTube, and I'm going to talk about what I watched on YouTube tomorrow. T- in a few seconds. Whenever you're listening to this. Anyway, <laughs> see ya. I'll be back in a second, I guess. So, bye for now. Hey, you folks. It's the Wednesday uh, segment of the show. And, uh, well, what was I doing now yesterday evening? And today, yesterday evening I said I was going to go in and watch some YouTube videos, and I did. I went to it, and I watched, uh, I've been watching some Trash Theory uh, videos lately. Really, really cool little documentaries, basically, looking at the history of a band, or at a genre, or... It's really good in a way, because they'll take a band, and they'll say, right, how did this band get to here? What influenced them? And it'll look at the history that led up to that band. Not only just members of the band, where they came from and stuff like that, but also the musical influences 
that are on the bands, but if they mentioned it or whatever else, or, you know, uh, putting into context of the time as well, too, who was around, what would they have been listening to, stuff like that. It was really, really cool. Really recommend Trash Theory, uh, a great YouTube channel. I recommended them before, and I actually have it in this week's uh, shout outs as well, too. So, um, definitely give those uh, a watch. They're a brilliant YouTube channel. Real of Trash Theory. Brilliant, brilliant YouTube channel. And actually, speaking of music, I saw that Kim Jordan has a new single out. Listen to that. Uh, bye bye. Saw that or listened to that and saw the video for as well too. That was really cool. Really enjoyed that. Love Kim Jordan. Love Kim Jordan for yonks. <laughs> Just uh, absolutely love. All of her stuff from Sonic Youth, of course, to her solo stuff. Just absolutely brilliant. So, uh, really looking forward to that new album. I think it's coming out in March. I'm looking forward to that. Then, I saw that today I listened to it. Uh, new Justice. Justice have a new single out. And they have an album coming out too as well. So, I'm getting hyped for that. I can't, I was just, just saw it. And I, was, I just read that and I was like, oh my god. I just, I was... Sitting there, and I I see my um, recommended that does a just a video of justice. I'm like, wait, new? Wait, what is this? I don't recognize that song. And I was like, whoa, this is unreal, absolutely brilliant. And so that's in the latest shoutouts as well too, as well as uh, Kim Jordan's uh, latest single Bye Bye as well too. That's in there as well. So that's what I was uh, up to yesterday and today. Anyway, I was doing that. And, of course, I'm doing this as well, too. I'm kind of enjoying this. I don't know if I do it again, though. Every day, record a little segment. I think I like to just sit and record in one setting. You know, I don't think I'll do this again. But, I mean, maybe I'll record a bit one day for... If I go out to some, do something like you know, when I did uh, the Christmas episode. When I went out and about in Limerick City. And then I did some bits and pieces here and there. And cobbled it together then afterwards. But this has been a fun little experiment. I'm only in the middle of it yet. So let's see how I feel on Friday. But uh, so far, so good I think. Just little updates every day. Recording little bits and pieces here and there. Um, yeah. So anyway. I guess that's it. What am I going to know? Still haven't seen the film Babe. So I, I don't know if I'm going to watch that this evening. Probably not. Um, I was going to say what I'm going to do. Do you know what? I'm not going to do that this time. I think I'm going to wait, see what I'm going to do, regardless of whatever it is, and then tell you about it uh, tomorrow. So I guess I'll uh, see you in a second. So folks, it is Thursday. It's nearly 20 to 11. Here at night, I'm thinking... Of going to bed. And I'm really hoping folks. That I sleep. Better tonight. Because <laughs> last night. Right. I don't know what was going on last night. But I was having. The weirdest dreams. And they weren't nightmares necessarily. But they weren't exactly pleasant dreams either. These were like. Irritating dreams. Just irritating. In a way that I can't even really fully describe to you. You know what I mean? Like I would just try to talk about it. Go, no, that doesn't really make any sense. Out of context of a dream. And there's nothing. I'm not going to describe a dream to you right now. But just. Uh, but people always say. Oh, there's nothing more boring here about some of the dreams. No, it's not. It's really weird and interesting. That's interesting. I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean? It's That doesn't make any sense. I hate that. You know. Oh, describing a dream to someone is weird, is is really boring. How is it boring? I was in a room, but it, it it was like my kitchen, but it wasn't really a kitchen. It was actually my living room, but it was actually in someone else's house. And that's what was so you know. And also there was a, I I didn't have any like a lower half to me. Like that's a, that's inter- that to me is interesting. But anyway, that's just me. But anyway, I'm not going to describe my dream to you. But um, but <laughs> I don't know why. This is always I'm like, but you see dreams and like films and stuff all the time. Anyway, 
But the dreams were really irritating, and I would try to go to sleep. And I, go, I wake up and I go, oh, okay, all right, all right, okay, settle down now, settle down. I've got to, stay, got to try to go to sleep again. I've tried to go to sleep again. And it'd be something similar, a similar kind of dream. And I'd be like, what? How does this even happen? You couldn't even, it's like a thing, isn't it? Like where you can't, if you get out of a dream, you can't go back into it again, you wake up. It's just, I don't know, so annoying. Oh, and it said, you never, you could never get back to a nice dream you're having. No, no, that's gone. That's done. You can't go back to there. Oh, but in your tasting dream, welcome back. Here you go. You know, oh my, I don't know. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I didn't sleep too well last night. And I was just thinking there, uh, welcome back. This is like the least... <laughs> if you're trying to sleep listening to this podcast <laughs> sorry um but anyway um yeah so anyway i hope i sleep better tonight actually here's the thing no i i think i, I was gonna say here's some podcasts i listen to but i definitely have mentioned them on the show before but some podcasts i listen to to help me go to sleep if you didn't hear it before because you know hey maybe this is your first episode um so some i listen to are the empty ball by Justin McElroy and Dan Gubert. The other one is Sleeping With Celebrities with John Moe. And the other one is Drifting Off with Joe Perra. Those are all top quality podcasts. If you need to get to sleep. You need to just, or maybe just even just to relax. You know, just to chill out. Just something nice and relaxing to listen to. And what are yours? Maybe what are your kind of, what, what do you do? If you're there and you're trying to get to sleep, what do you do? Do you put on music? Do you, you know, what What do you do? Do you put on maybe white noise? Do you listen to a podcast? Do you listen to a show? Do you read a book? You know, what do you do? Do you count sheep? What was it? I remember I did that in the radio show one time actually where I had a, I had a sketch where a, a farmer called in. I can't remember why he called in originally. Oh, I think I, maybe I called him or something. He was telling about his sheep or something like that. And the bit was that basically I asked him, how many sheep have you got? And he's falling asleep. He's trying to count them. That was that was the joke anyway. But um, so that was, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> a bit of behind the scenes. But um, not really. It's just describing what happened on, the, on an episode of the show. But anyway, yeah, hope I have a better sleep. It's nice. Um, I didn't say what I was going to do last night, did I? I didn't say, here's what I'm going to do right after this. And now I know what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go to bed right after I finish recording this. And maybe, maybe that's what I'll talk about tomorrow. Maybe I'll say how I slept last night. <laughs> and I'll go on a big tangent about something else. That's usually where it goes. But, um, yeah. So anyway, right. That's my update for tonight. I wonder how this is all going to sound all put together. Hmm. I wonder how it'll flow. Will I sound very different from one night to the next? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, see you in a couple of seconds. Hey, folks. It is Friday. We're here. <laughs> the last part of the show. Um, yeah. Oh, you may notice. I'm out in the boat. So I pop into the city today. Now, of course, everyone listening to this, you're all waiting with basic breath. How did he sleep last night? I actually only had one weird dream last night. Well, it wasn't even a weird dream. This thing, it's not a weird dream either. It's just this was so annoying. It was kind of boring. Except what it was was that I had somehow forgotten Christmas and New Year's, and just. Went straight to me and was like, wait a minute, when is Christmas happening? And it was like, I don't know why. All of a sudden, I was very upset that I had missed Christmas somehow. <laughs> don't know why that's in my mind, but anyway, there we go. Do you know what, actually? Anytime I walk around and record something like this, I feel like, I don't know, because I'm recording into a, uh, what looks like kind of like a dictaphone, you know? Like, note to self, uh, I'm an idiot, kind of a thing, you know? But, yeah, so I'm not even, like, recording into a, a mobile or anything. 
it's just a, I mean it's not just a, it's a dedicated little recorder that is really nifty. And I think you can play in the on it as well too, which I've used maybe once to do that. But anyway, it's really cool. Oh, I think I need to get a new one. I've said that in the podcast before this. Anyway, never mind. So yeah. Had a bad all week, I suppose. You know, bit of a long week. But uh, recording-wise, anyway, this is a bit of fun. I don't think I'll do it again, as I say. I think this is a nifty little idea once off. Maybe I'd do it again if I was going somewhere for like a week. And I would be right recording in little updates every day that'd be kind of cool yeah that'd be kind of good I, that's always the only reason I think I might do it again or if it's like something specifically happening that week you know but uh, the other thing I had an idea for a podcast actually was um, was if I was to do a work on a painting or a project or something and it would take maybe a week to do it and I would give little updates in the recording of the podcast during the week that'd be an idea too so I say I'm not gonna do it again but then <laughs> I definitely will do it again sometime in the future well anyway uh, I'm gonna go back to my little walk here now and record a bit more later on well folks I am home again and I'm just recording this little outro I suppose the whole show a little goodbye here at the end I'm just about to go in on, I'm going to edit all the uh, sections or segments or whatever I end up calling it, uh, all the different parts, all the days of the week together to make up the podcast here for you to listen to right now. But uh, yeah, let me know what you thought of this episode, let me know what you you think, Uh, you can let me know what you think of any episode or the whole show in total, whatever you think of it. You can leave a review and a racing on Apple Podcasts or iTunes or wherever you're listening to this. If there's an option to leave a review and a racing, please do write it in there. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll read it out on the show one of these days. You know, that'd be kind of fun. But anyway, uh, that's it for this episode. Thanks so much for listening. I will see you folks next time. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Or whenever you're listening to this, hope you're having a wonderful time. Till I speak to you again. This is Michael Muto, your podcast pal. Bye, folks.